Good morning guys, welcome back. My name is Brittany if you're new. Today is another vlog. We love a vlog. So it is Tuesday today. Literally never know which day it is. And I actually just filmed a money video. It is very exciting. I was really nervous. I don't know. I just don't feel like confident in the subject, but I think it turned out pretty well. If you haven't already seen it, I'll link it like up on the screen for you guys. I paid off my loan in a year and it was a lot of money. So if you need some money tips, that's where you can find some. But yeah, it was fun and I feel good. I feel kind of relieved. I was very nervous, but I am gonna do our meal planning today and Matthias is gonna get groceries. So I wanna like put in the meal planning and our grocery haul and all that good stuff. But other than that, it's just kind of a normal day. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. I put out videos like twice a week right now. So lunchtime and I'm just gonna, okay, this light looks, there we go. I'm just gonna have some leftover chicken fried rice. We had this for supper last night and honestly, it wasn't the best. My stepdad makes really good chicken fried rice and I asked for the recipe, but mine did not turn out like that. So it's just rice, peas, corn, peppers, and then chicken. I'm just gonna heat it up and have that really easy. I feel like there was too many mushy vegetables in it. That's kind of what made it suck so i'll have to keep experimenting and find a good way to make it okay i think it looks a lot better now i did it in my cast iron skillet so it got like a little crispy and then i'm putting this on it this is the superior soy sauce if you go to sushi at Mizu, this is what they use in. Oh, it's so freaky good. Just like throw back to sushi. That's the one thing I miss about this whole quarantine thing. Mizu's clothes, like at least do takeout, you guys. I'm going through withdrawals, but maybe they'll come back for takeout. If that happens, I'll be a very happy girl. But for now, we're bringing it back with the freaking soy sauce. It is half calf time. Today I'm doing, I did two scoops of regular coffee and then one scoop decaf because I'm feeling tired and I need a little extra pep in my step, you know? I'm not sure why, but I've been finding that every day at like one o'clock, I'm just done for the day. Like I'm only halfway through, but I could definitely take a nap. But yesterday I worked all morning, took a bit of a break in the afternoon and then worked again till like nine o'clock. So that's probably why I'm tired. I think I'm gonna have my coffee and then I might watch one vlog. I feel like I said that last time. I'm gonna watch a vlog and then make my meal plan, make my grocery list, then edit my video for tomorrow. So that's kind of the plan. I had a big candle day yesterday, so I got a lot of that stuff done. All right, I'm gonna watch my one vlog. Right now I'm liking Julia and Hunter Havens. They have really good vlogs. And I really like Julia's style too. I told you guys I love watching Catherine Manning for like YouTube tips. Really like that. And yeah, that's about it right now. So I'm gonna watch that and then, yeah, I'm gonna try to think of some meal ideas. I'll probably like, I usually like browse Instagram and Pinterest and just try to like get ideas of what I what I want us to have for the week and look for inspo because that is the hardest part of meal planning. I finished my meal planning for the week so I kind of wanted to show you guys like how I do it and what our meals are. Our meals for the week, let me spin you around here are going to be salmon salad, salsa chicken, nachos, steak, potato and salad, 
takeout one night, pulled pork and turkey, like ground turkey spaghetti. And then for lunches on the weekend, we just kind of like to plan that. We're gonna probably either do like super soup and sandwich or snack plates. And how I do the list part is I take all the meals we're gonna have for the week and I go through each one and write down the ingredients you need for each meal. So I make a huge list and then once I have all of the things I need for each of our planned meals, I go through and think about extra things we need. So I kind of add in like oatmeal, toast, blueberries, stuff like that, like creamer, coffee. You just kind of have to check your fridge inventory and that's really helpful so you don't go to the store and need that later in the week kind of thing since we're only going to the store once a week so that's why i planned out seven meals but yeah so i just go through everything list it all down go through my cupboards and fridge and think about extra things we need and then i organize my list by what is in the store so this this step's kind of like extra af but I'll go through and list like produce first and then meat or breads, however it's organized in the store. So that way when Matthias goes, he can just walk through the store, check off the list and not have to backtrack, hopefully, because I haven't been to the store lately, but I hear it's hard to get through if you forget something. So that's just kind of how we meal plan. I wanted to share with you guys because it's been working very well for us. We haven't used our takeout meal in like two or three weeks <laughs> what the heck i'll show you everything we get in the grocery haul once matthias gets back from the store but i think we're gonna have taco tuesday so very excited are you hungry now yes okay let's make some tacos i'm gonna put bell pepper in the meat yeah oh we're going with the fancy cheese today guys oh baby if you know you know it's going to be gourmet AF taco. Okay, we're going to show you guys the perfect way to build a taco. We figured it out last time we had tacos. We have them a lot lately. I didn't do the first step right. All right, first step, put... This is a... Why is this so skinny? Look at that. Put the spinach in the bottom i know you feel like you want to put it on the top i still do too but don't uh this is not gonna hold anything it's so small spinach oh shit. <laughs> put your beef you always have to put your cheese on top of the beef because it melts obviously and then put your sauce i don't have it here but that's the perfect way the spinach gets held down and it doesn't, is this really cool? <laughs> spinach gets held down and it doesn't fall with the top and you just have this perfect little baby taco. Tyler, do you want a taco? We've just been using these like simple old El Pasto, or oh, old El Pasto, old El Paso um, taco kits, which are actually pretty good and pretty cheap. And then we just put a bell pepper in the meat too for some extra veggies. Just finished cleaning all the dishes and I also cleaned out the fridge so it's ready for all the new groceries I love doing that just so you don't have food that's going bad so yeah every week before we get groceries I just clean out the fridge and throw out anything that's not good anymore and a little, little candle morning light it smells so fresh and it's just perfect when you clean so it's looking all clean in here I love the end of the day when you can just clean up and it's all cozy i live for it so i'm just waiting for matthias to get back and then i will show you guys what we got my favorite thing i i love when he comes home from groceries because he always like gets a couple extra little treats and i don't know what they'll be so it's kind of like a little surprise <laughs> 
We have the grocery haul. I love grocery hauls, so let's go. We got some rolled oats, some rice, gluten-free pasta. This is my favorite tomato soup. So creamy, so delicious, and it's on sale right now, so if you see this early enough. We got some buns for the pulled pork. Creamer, no introduction needed. Cow's Creamery cheese, this makes all the difference. It's pretty pricey though, I will warn you. We have some little potatoes back there. Some pineapple salsa, which I'm really excited to try. We're gonna put this on our salsa chicken. Cucumber, broccoli, this is the kale salad that I really like. Super delicious. We got some cinnamon because I was out and I love putting it on my coffee. Love that. We bought some hummus for snack plates, feta, and corn. This is for the corn salad I like making with mint and um, salmon. These are new healthy Cheetos. It's the crunchy kind. So right now I have the soft ones, like the puffy cheesy but these are the crunchy ones really good i've tried them before we have some nachos for our nachos later in the week we'll probably have them on saturday or sunday as a little treat vitamin c honestly i hate fake orange flavor <laughs> but matthias said that was the only flavor so that's what we're having disgusting but gotta do what you gotta do grapefruits which I have been really loving lately. We've been having them on the weekends and they're just so sweet and yum. Treats, because you know you gotta have treats. So he got me a little snacks and my favorite gelato that I have a little bit every single night. Frozen blueberries for oatmeal in the morning and then a thing of gala apples. We also have quite a bit of like proteins and stuff in the fridge but um actually i want to show you the the candied smoked salmon because um i've talked about it before but i don't think i had the package left it's the smoked atlantic salmon and it's the maple pepper kind if you haven't tried this yet it's just so good so that's what we have with the greek and corn or feta and corn and mint but i'm gonna put all these away and then i think i'm gonna edit finish editing the video that i have going up tomorrow show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds because without you by my side i would be stuck here on the ground you're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free